Hey everyone, it's Evan again. Today I'm going to do another review for Elizabeth Banks Month, and it's on a movie from 2013, and that is The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Now the plot of this movie is where, <coughs> sorry, some swear, um, is where after the first Hunger Games movie, Katniss Everdeen decides to just, you know, live a normal life after, so she wouldn't have to do it anymore, but then she finds out a rebellion is starting, and she thinks it's and then she's forced to, uh, she's forced by this guy named President Snow, played by, uh, Donald Sutherland, and they, and he also teams, she also teams up with this boy named Peter, played by Josh Hutcherson, and they, you know, have to just participate in the Hunger Games and survive again, so that's pretty much the plot of this movie. This is an epic sequel. This is great. This was a great movie. It, uh, I didn't see this in the theater, sadly, because, as you all know, the only one I saw in the theater was uh, Mocking Jay Part 2, but this is an epic sequel. It had a lot of great action sequences. It wasn't boring. It was not very slow-paced. It had really great acting. It had, it, it had a good script, and it's just, just a really epic sequel, and... And it's just, we did also get another sequel, uh, that same, around the same time, uh, Thor The Dark World, which is a hated sequel. I don't know why critics hated it. I thought it was good, but critics didn't hate, this didn't get as bashed as, uh, Thor The Dark World, but, and that's good, because I really liked the sequel. Um, it's just very great. If you haven't seen it, I'd suggest watch the first Hunger Games movie first, but, but if you've only seen the first, I'd definitely recommend go see the. Go watch this movie. So that's my review of Hunger Games Catching Fire. See you next time.